Welcome to this episode of YouTube, where the dedicated Wolf Care team members are always here on Saturday night to deliver the What's for Dinner uh, food resource. This happens to be a full roadkill deer. Uh, differing than previous feedings, uh, this has all four legs on. When we had retired wolves, we would often cut off legs to save to feed the older wolves. Uh, so they, they got a full deer, and it really stimulated a lot of the competitive tug-of-war behaviors. And the other thing that we noticed was there seemed to be a little bit of a change this weekend with Grayson. And so we start seeing, you know, classic Rika grayson interaction. Grayson in what's called a play ball kind of invite chase, and then Rika goes to chase ravens. But what we're interested in is how Grayson's tail reacts to Axel approaching and coming over. You can see a very deliberate rising of the tail as Axel crested at top of the pump house and these slow deliberate movements are part of that body posture of what we call ritualized rank order uh, dominance. So we think that there is some change in the wind uh, with these two. Axel has always been the more dominant of the two pups because Grayson's a little bit more timid, uh, but certainly Rika uh, and her presence in the exhibit is changing things. So Rika is doing a classic feeding behavior called a head shake that is a predatory behavior on the remaining deer hide. And then on Tuesday we let him in to retirement. We want him to get used to coming in and out of here because we'll have a working for wolves program in April. We'll have you know reasons why we need them to be in holding. So we saw some of that excitement really pick up and we always talked about the Grizzer 500. Well this must be the Grayson 5000 because it is just a, an incredible show of energy and confidence for Grayson who typically does not like retirement and being held away from the pack. He is just zooming all over and that's Axel jumping on top of the den and Rika just trying to keep up with these uh, two uh, very healthy middle ranking or middle aged wolves. So that happened on Tuesday and then we started to see again coming out into the exhibit a little bit more posturing and uh, the dominance seems to be increasing and by dominance we mean tail postures approaching uh, each other, facing off directly, showing some rank order. Now, Grayson still doesn't have a lot of confidence because as soon as Axel kind of approaches, you see Grayson swing his ears, pricked and turned sideways, and then um, as Axel walks towards him, he drops his tail posture. But we're also seeing a lot more Grayson uh, guarding Rika. Um, wherever Rika is, Grayson is not too far behind. If Rika is sleeping in the medical pen in the background of there, he's laying out in the snow outside the gate waiting. But this was uh, filmed, again, just see that slow, deliberate walk and that tail posture really shows that Grayson is showing or, or, or you know, displaying more of that kind of uh, classic dominance that we see of pack leaders. So Rika typically is going to play into here. She's going to um, interact with the individual wolves. In this clip, Grayson lets out a little bit of a whine when she's greeting Axel, and she immediately goes from greeting to following. And following is a dominance. It's a passive dominance. It's an intimidation. You can see Axel's ears are flat back. Intimidation rikers are forward. And so she keeps following him. And you see also he's yawning quite a bit, opening his mouth, and just not really sure what to do. I can't in stress dictionary. We talk about licking lips, uh, blinking eyes, yawning, you know, ear posturing, all being indications of stress. The other thing, seeing a little bit more parallel gating between Grayson and Rika. Now it's hard to parallel gate when there's mounds of snow here, but we are certainly seeing a uh, change in the wind. We do have a webinar coming up on Sunday the 20th, the Spring Equinox webinar. It's actually a 10 a.m. webinar on Sunday morning to uh, give our friends in other time zones an opportunity to watch a webinar um, during a more reasonable time of the day. So if you want to register, check our website at wolf.org. Uh, you will see the registration. And thanks for watching.